it is Saturday here in beautiful Woodstock. It is snowy outside, and um, I thought you might want to hang out with me today. I, I'm not doing anything exciting, but it is a day in the life video nonetheless. I'm going to go drop off my daughter um, at a play that she's working on, and then I'm going to hit the gym. Um, Nate's going to get me set up with a workout. He's got a lot of other clients in this morning, so I'm essentially going to be doing it on my own, but he's going to at least tell me what to do. What do you got there? Splatoon? Are you having a rough morning? Hello! Why are you so cute, huh? You feel so soft. Molly got her hair cut the other day, that's why she's got this bandana on. There's Stevie. Steve's doing some fasted cardio, which I guess so am I, because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Have a good walk. Thanks. Alright, kiddo, let's get motor in. The turtle and the hare. You are the turtle and I am the hare. Let's go. All right, I'm here at Nate's gym and it's very treacherous walking. He warned me that it was icy and um, getting ready to do a workout. There's no right all that I like to use is the fish water bottle. And um, this is the big gym bag that I use, and it's just full of oh my God, winter gear, other shoes, things like that. My actually, my grip is really hurting my forearms today because I did a rope workout on Thursday, and it completely killed my arms. So I'm not sure what I'm doing today. <laughs> this should be interesting. Be there for the exercises. Uh, we do five rounds. So the first one. It's 10 kettlebell swings, so drive your hips back, keep your chest up, keep your arms nice and straight. So we need 10 of those, yeah. then right after that we're going into 20 of our kettlebell squats, so keep your arms nice and straight, push the hips back, we're going to do about there, try and touch the ground with the kettlebell, and back up, squeeze the glutes, it's like that, so we've got 20 of those, and right after that hop over here, grab your dumbbells, I think we're just doing a dumbbell uh, curl and squat. Just go down and do like a quarter of squat, just like that. Oh, okay, so, so not a full 20 squat. of those. So it's okay. 10, 20, 20. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Times five. Times five, got it.
All right, workout is done. You know what, that stuff seems like it would be super simple, like you're just standing there, but actually, it makes you sweat. It makes you, um, your heart rate goes way up, so that was a hard workout. The, I used 25 pound kettlebell and 15 pound weights, but the 15 pound weights were like too heavy. I don't know if you could tell by the end of that, but I was definitely struggling to keep a good form, um, which is a no-no. But I like didn't want to go down in weight, and yeah, so. Anyways, let's go home. All right, I'm home. I have not taken off my coat yet because I want to go vacuum out the car. I got one of those Dyson vacuums probably six weeks ago and I, it's like cordless so I can take it in the car so I'm kind of excited to do that. This is Hero. He's like right there. You can't even see him. He's the cutest. Nate always wants me to have a protein shake so I've got a little drawer over here. You can't really tell but anyways. Um, this is the protein powder that we use. Diesel. I don't know if this reads backwards. Got 26 grams of protein, 5 grams of glutamine, 7 BCAAs, and 0.5 grams of net carbs. Protein powder is expensive, but necessary, according to my trainer. <laughs> um, I do need a protein container. Does anyone else have a drawer of chaos where they have just like protein, protein things and you don't know whether the lid matches or... The last time I made a protein shake, I did not have the right set. And I ended up getting chocolate protein juice everywhere. Try another lid. Okay. Different cup. Different. All right. Red bottle, black cap, got it. So I just add, I don't need the lid on obviously, a scoop of this protein powder to this container, Bloop. and then I don't add in like a full cup of water, I more or less do like half a cup because I just like it thicker so I can drink it in like two gulps. Because protein powder is not really my, it's not like a leisurely thing you drink, you know? Water added, click, okay. Whoa. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna down this and then I'm gonna go vacuum. It does taste good. I wouldn't mind a vanilla protein powder though. Oh, I gotta add water to this or Steve will get mad at me. Clean out your protein powders or they get bottles or they get icky. I think my keto Librium order is here, so I'm gonna go get that. Hmm? The lady, she's there. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, okay, that's I want heavy. To hand this? I know. <laughs> Keto Librium delivers amazing food to me, so thank you. You're welcome. Okay, have, have a great day. day. What are you doing? The kitchen's a mess right now. Blocking your light. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so this is an example of some of the stuff that you can get there. These are their cinnamon maple pecan bagels, which are my favorite. These chocolate chip scones are like a giant chewy chocolate chip cookie, and they only have two net carbs, so I really like them. This is something new. I've never tried buffalo chicken with chipotle mayo and buttery cabbage. Um, this is one of my favorites, uh, chicken alfredo with spinach, bacon, and cauliflower. So good. Um, this is a four-pack of individual pizzas. Um, this one has mushrooms, bacon bits, and pepperoni on it. Um, and then this is stroganoff meatballs and creamy mash, calzone, and Steve really likes these um, chocolate peanut butter blondies. So Steve is going to nicely clean out the fridge and put all this food in there while he's distracted by the television. Yes.
You can't do anything without a TV on. Because mm -hmm. you're never around to be with me. It's bullshit. I do get all... He's trying to get the food. I do get this food from Ketolibrium for free because I have a relationship with them. I didn't buy all of that, but I would because I don't ever have to cook if I don't want to, so it's pretty sweet. Now I'm going back to the car to vacuum it out. All right, this is what my trunk looks like before the Dyson. These Christmas trees that had all this like glitter on them, which is really these shiny little balls. <laughs> All right, my trunk looks dirty, but really that's just snowflakes landing in it. <laughs> it's really freaking cold out. I have decided that that vacuum does not really work that well in the car. It's very clunky, it's hard to maneuver, and all the little tools like just don't really fit in the caravan, right? It did an okay job, but... Not as good as I wanted. I have to pick up Taylor in an hour. And Steve's taking Carter to hockey, so we're gonna go watch Carter's hockey afterwards. And we eat after that, usually around 1.30, but I'm fasted right now. And um, my fingers are burning because it was so cold in the garage. Um, anyway, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna eat something, a little bit of something right now. Um, or wait, and I think I'm just gonna eat right now. I think I'm gonna make a bagel um, from Keolibrium with low carb jam and peanut butter. The Pac Man, the Pac Man game, I used this. It didn't work. The Pac Man game wouldn't work? Okay, that's a healthy snack, isn't it? Yeah. Fruit by the foot. Oh look, Steve's got the Keto Librium packed nice and tight. Anyways. Bagels. Bacon. This is the low carb jam that I use. It's Nature's Hollow Strawberry Jam. And it's got um, two grams of net carbs for a tablespoon. So I really don't even use quite a tablespoon on here. And then, do you like my Dora plate? And then I use this um, natural sea salt peanut butter from Kraft. And it has one gram of net carb for a tablespoon. And again, there's not even quite a tablespoon on there. It might look like it is, but not really. There's Carly, she's getting pulled around for that little boy. And Brayden with us. And us telling him to work hard. So today I think we told him just to have fun. See if that makes him better. He looks happy out there. We are just here at the hockey arena. And Taylor's running around with her friend and Steve's just getting Carter out of his hockey gear. And we're gonna go grab McDonald's for lunch. I get a Caesar salad with grilled chicken. It's six net carbs and about 600 calories, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Sometimes I get a Greek salad there with grilled chicken with a dressing and everything included, including, including there's couscous in the salad. It's 16 net carbs. We're gonna have, I think, cauliflower nachos for dinner and there's a lot of carbs in that, so I'm gonna go with a good old Caesar salad and a diet Coke. There's my hockey guy. There's my hockey guy, hi! Feel my sweaty hair. Feel your sweaty hair. Okay. Did you work hard today? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. You colored a fish blue. <laughs> so we just got home from McDonald's, and um, Steve's gonna go off to play some hockey of his own. He's been doing really good working out at the gym, um, getting into hockey uh, every weekend, which is amazing cardio. And I'm just gonna clean up the house for the next hour or so, tidy up the kitchen, get the floors clean, I might vacuum again. I'm slightly obsessed <laughs> with my Dyson vacuum. And well, like ever since Steve lost his job, we've let the cleaning people go. And so I'm just really working hard to stay on top of the house so that I feel better when things are in a good place and everything's kind of where it belongs. 
Carter's playing Fortnite. Don't judge me. That's what that shooting sound does. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Anyways, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna clean and then I'm gonna make cauliflower nachos for dinner. Just redid this whole cupboard and Hero decided to go in. Hi, who was up there? I'm, I took this dollar store basket and I put the, the treats in it. I used to have a bunch of cards. This is not really that organized, but we have hot tub stuff there. Um, I've had these Kool-Aid packets for about a gazillion years, but I think one day Taylor might want to dye her hair with them, so like, I just kept it. I don't think I would ever make my kids the Kool-Aid ever more. And I have like jars up there. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Yes. Oh, would you like a gym schedule from 2016? Uh, I think that we can take that down. This is a body composition scan from Steve three years ago. 229 pounds. He is way less than that now. Just getting ready to empty the kitty litter. I use these giant dog poo bags when I do that. Because sometimes if you use like a grocery bag and there's a hole in the bag, it's just a shitty situation. Hi, Carter. Why are you looking like such a grown-up man today? Hello. Mm. Well, for supper tonight, I had this cauliflower nachos. We didn't have any red onions. We really should have picked some up. I'll put the link in the description down below to my Instagram post that has the recipe for making this. It's really, really delicious. I would highly suggest making it as a staple in our household. Yeah. Taylor and I are playing a mean game of Scrabble. Or isn't it? That was a game. And you're beating me. <laughs> so Taylor and I are playing a game called Rhino Hero. We are making a house and she's gonna be very careful not to tip this over. <laughs> an undangerous one? That means I get to have another trip. Alright. No, that means plus one. That means mommy has to take an extra roof card. Oh, so you have to do two now. Taylor's got to take the little rhino and move him to the top without tipping the tower. Oh, there he is. Okay, so you got to place him on the top of the card in that spot. Don't knock the tower over. We have Hero there. Yeah. Sitting in his box. He tried to sit on all the Scrabble letters and we weren't having it. And there's Molly staring at us from outside because she's a weirdo. This tower is getting tall, Taylor. Hope you bent those cards really good. So you have to. A little bit more. This is so wobbly, so. Wait, so if I put on one. And then like it like falls over, does that mean like I lose? Yep. Good. No, I'm I'm really sorry. But I'm gonna give you the rhino. I'm not giving it over. <laughs> Steve, did you see our tower? Wow. Don't push it over. This is gonna be <laughs> Oh my god. How am I gonna do this? And my rhino card. Okay, get the rhino card. Oh dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to move. I'm pretty sure oh she's gonna my god, do you see it even wavering? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So mom's gonna have to put up two cards. Oh, look how unstable that looks. It's literally wobbling. Mom, you're not gonna make it. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> it's going, it's going down too. <laughs> I knew I was gonna play my rhino card that time. Oh no. <laughs> Mom, you're not allowed putting your hand on the side. I'm not? <laughs> Look at her face. And, and your daughter was. <laughs> All right. So it's the end of our Saturday night. Mm.
thanks for hanging out with me. My life is really friggin' typical. It's Saturday? Oh, man. Yeah. I did laundry today. I vacuumed out the car. Mm -hmm. I cleaned the kitty litter. I made dinner. I didn't do anything. No, you did a lot. You worked out on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Then you volunteered at Carter's Hockey. Mm -hmm. Then you went to hockey and worked out again. Mm -hmm. And I checked the cauliflower to make sure it was cooked. You did get up to poke the cauliflower. Yeah. I had a shower. I did my push-ups. <clears throat> Steve is doing a thing where he does one push-up. Tell them. It's a 90-day challenge. You do as many push-ups as you can without breaking form. Then you wait one minute, and then you do as many more push-ups as you can do without breaking form, which then gives you a grand, grand total. What was your initial starting total? I could do 30, or sorry, 20, and then after a minute I could do 10 more before basically failure. So his number was 30 starting out. And then every day for 90 days you add one rep to that 30. So at the end of 90 days he would be able to do 120. Approximately. So what are you at now? I'm at 61. <clears throat> Tomorrow's 62. So you're past the halfway mark. Yes. So in all, I do just under, just over 6,700 push-ups in 90 days. And uh, how do you feel halfway through? Oh, I'm, I'm sore, but not like completely destroyed. But like I've also feel like I've doubled my chest size. Really? And I didn't have a lot to begin with. So. And now the children are fighting, so this is going really well. It's yeah. bedtime for them. Bedtime. And then we're going to watch Shameless. Mm -hmm. And then go in the hot tub. <laughs> no? I can't. Shut down. So I'll go to sleep. And then we're going to go to sleep. Mom, he's being a poopy head. Don't call him names. Oh, he's being a poopy. Oh. See, Carter? Slam his head off the wall. Carter's okay. He was not harmed with his wall, head smashing into the wall. Be nice to him, please. Don't put your foot on his head. Mom, can you help me pull up? No. Why? Because you've already had one today. You want a cheese string? Cheese string. Cheese string. Cheese string. Going to bed. I don't want to Taylor, tomorrow, and when it's school, and you get back, you're not watching your TV. Because her would laugh at me. Did she laugh at you? Yeah. That's not nice. Hey, what are you doing? Never seen you use the garbage before.